Yo, I told you I was coming with another video, man. This is the champs at Winter Garden. I decided to keep the video separately. So yeah, I probably just saw my Nike outlet video. Now you're watching this. You guys are gonna be surprised to see what's in the building. That's why I'm keeping a separate video. Watch this video all the way through, man. I'll see you at the end. All right, peace. One thing about this store, kind of noisy with the music, man. But anyways, man, yo, people, what they got over here? Let's go, you on. Got the all feet, man. We got the Justin Timberlake. What's poppin' on the new boyfriend? Right? Back in the building. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. I had a re record this. How? Yo, first and foremost, gotta respect this, right? These are the Air Jordan team, well, team Jordans. The black joints, black and white joints for 109. You know, I like those, bro. All right, so not only that, they got these, yo. The Air Jordan 1 Lows, man. The North Carolina blue and black joints. It's still available, man. And this at this chance right here, y'all. Uh, Air Jordan wing blow on the back heel. It's kind of stitched, black outsole. That's pretty dope, but not only that, they got these joints too, bro. Reverse bread lows, which I have a pair. I had two pairs, I sold one to you, one of you guys, man. So still got a pair left. This is a size 12, actually my size, man. Black outsole, white midsole, red midfoot, tumble swoops. Leather on the toe box so cool. Red jump, man. These are hitting for $90. Not only that, guys, they got these joints, man. Which I'm not a fan of, this teal colorway. They got that cardboard leather, in my opinion. Stitch Air Jordan Wings logo on the back heel. Jordan Jumpman on the logo. On top of the Tongue 23 with the stitching. And then you also got the damn tennis ball colorway, which also I'm not a fan of. Air Jordan Wings stitch on the back heel, black and white. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this colorway. Crazy amount of lows, right? We're not done. Then they got these joints, the Wu-Tang Lowe's. Okay. And I did ask him if they have a pair and he bought me out two pairs, y'all. Oh, just 11 or 12? Okay. So 11 definitely ain't gonna fit, but I'm just gonna show you guys anyways. The Wu-Tang, here's Jordan Wings. Here's Jordan Wings, here's Jordan one Lowe's, man. Lowe's are not my face, but don't have this other than the New Love Unos, I got that in the mid. This would be the second closest thing, the only thing. The toe box is not black. What you guys think about this, man? Uh, these are hints for $90. I'm afraid on from the top that, but we'll put that aside for right now. The 11s I can't do nothing with. Let's keep it moving, man. They also got the mids, man, which I'm not a fan of. These are the gold and white mids. I call this the gold foils, bro. It's just horribly done in my opinion. It's not even a patent leather. It's just, it's not, it's not executed well. But these joints though, these. That's the carbon fiber on the back heel, patent leather around the toe box, swoosh logo. Our fiber hunt for the swoosh logo, Air Jordan Wings, very prominent, all white. We got the circle jump man logo on the tongue. These are dope. These are dope. I haven't shown you guys this shoe yet. To show you guys that ASAP Rocky. There they go, y'all. So in the Air Max section, we're gonna take a look before we get out of here. I like that colorway. You got the Vapor Max. You got the Plus. You got the 270s. The 97s at the bottom. The 97s in all black. The Harachis, white, black, and red. That one's headed for 100. Okay, what about these? Y'all feeling these? We went for 130 though. Vapor Max Plus, all red joint. It's crazy. 200 beans for those though. Um, we just saw these in the Nike outlet that was hitting for $70 there, I believe. They got me for 100. Flyknit React. Um, rest is just generic stuff. Uh, they ain't really generic, but that's what I call it. When you guys are not interested in them, a whole bunch of MDs over here. Some Adidas joints, some Ultra Boots in the corner, hanging out in the cut. That's pretty much it. So, before I get out of here, man, I want to show you these opposites, man. I like these joints. Georgetown colorway, 120. Then you got that emerald green for 119, not a fan. Then you got that black, um, red. Which ones are these? 
Okay, it's just the regular revolt laces are passing me. I'm not a fan of those, definitely not a fan. And before I get out here, man, I'm letting y'all know I am passing on those uh, Wu Tang colorway, uh, the black and yellow joints. Those already have. Don't care about those. Don't care about those tennis balls. No, the UNC colorway lows, man. I already got those. Pass on those, so get out of here. Alright, it's a wrap, man. It is a wrap. Leaving champs. It was cool, man. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm combining this video with the previous video. It should. If it is, it's worth it. You know what I mean? It's worth it, yo. Um, they have some cool stuff in there, man. This spot is not getting as love. They got this location for a few more months, possibly a year. So, yeah, in the Winter Garden area, man, if you guys are scared to venture out here, man, come out here. Definitely show them some love. They do have some retros in the building. Not the lows for now, but they told me they got the dunks. Y'all seen that? They got the dunks. Uh, they said they got the Griffies. So it's going to get better, man. Um, low key is a, it's a quaint spot over here. If you're in Winter Garden Shopping Plaza, not much people venture over here. But it's worth the trip once in a while. Plus, a Nike outlet, you got Target, you got Marshalls, all that good stuff. But, anyways, man. And we're back in the sneaker room, man. Thank you guys for watching all the way through, man. This was a short video. I told you I was going to go to the Champ stores after the Nike outlet video if you watched that video, which I did. This is a Champ exclusive content video because I was in the building. Um, well, rather, I was in Winter Garden area, so I was like, let me pull up two champs and see what they got inside. I know champs, a, quote unquote, was a pop-up shop, but it been there for a couple months, and I think they said they got a lease going on, and talking to some of the personnel there, they told me that they've been getting some, some OG pairs, like retros and some old school joints, like the Griffies most recently, and you already saw what they had in the building, man. They had like every now later flavor of those Air Jordan lows, bro. I did pass on those Wu-Tangs, those black and yellow joints. I think it was black and yellow or mustard and yellow or golden mustard. Pass on those joints, the lows rather. I don't wear lows like that and I didn't want it to be an impulsive buy because I'm trying to contain myself, you know what I mean? Try not to buy everything I see, especially Jordan uh, 1s. But you know, I've been on the Jordan 1 before this fad, man. I've been collecting Jordan 1 since 2015. Since the inception of this channel, I've been copping Jordan 1s for all these naysayers that's coming in, popping in like I'm just jumping on the train. Yeah, man, you on the bandwagon. You're late. Welcome, though. I appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button. But anyways, man, I want to show you guys what I copped. And what I copped is this champion shirt. They had this champion shirt. Now it's a heavyweight shirt. It's kind of tight on the body, but you know, it's cool though. Champion, I'm bordered on the chest. Uh, I copped this for $9, man. So it was well worth the purchase. And lastly, lastly, cop these joints. Peep the label. These are size seven, not my size. And these are the Nike Dunk Lowe's Cobalt. If you want to talk about fad, this is a fad. If you see me start copping like dunks, yeah, cause that's not my thing. I do own one dunk in the collection and clearly I don't, I'm not gonna own this cause it's not my size. I just bought off the shrimp because I hit someone up and they told me to wear this size. So I copped it since I'm in the building and these shoes sold out. That person does wear a size seven, female that is. Now I thought these joints hit for like a hundred dollars but they retail for $85, which was even phenomenal. Cause at first I, I quote that person a hundred and I felt bad, like I hope they don't think I'm trying to get over on them cause they're actually $85. So that was cool. That person saved money on this pair. But anyways, these are the Dunk Lows, man. The Cobalt joints. I like that blue, that midnight blue or the royal blue rather, and the black. Would I get this pair in my size? Probably not. I don't think this is a dunk low that I like. Peep the other shoe as well. Pretty much the same pattern and colorway on both shoes. Nike on the back heel. You got that royal blue colorway on the outsole. You got the Nike on the insole, if you can see that. Royal blue laces, black toe box and tongue. Pretty much a all black, royal, and white shoe. $85 if you wear GS sizes. And that's all she wrote, man. I haven't been to that location since January 27th. So, so roughly around a month since I've been back to that Nike outlet, which in turn a month since I've been to that Champs outlet as well. So I will be venturing back. They got a lease for a year. They getting retros. They get an OG pair. So I'm gonna show up in the building and they having leftover pairs, man. Where will you see a dunk low sitting? Even if it's a GS. You know what I mean? The dunk lows are now becoming the Jordan 1 of 2021. What y'all think? What's your opinion? But anyways, I ain't gonna bore you out of death. Thanks for watching. Thanks for pulling up. If you're new to this channel, like what you just saw, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And everyone, keep leaving those comments down below. Let me know what you think of this pair, GS, 
the men's pair, the women's pair, whatever pair you got, are you guys copping lows in 2021? I'm, I'll be the first to tell you, I'm not a low guy, so you're not gonna see lows in my collection. Dunks, periodically, there's only one dunk I got in my collection that I do love. Would I be opposed to copping more? If, if the colorway is right, if the theme is right, but it's not my steed, so you're probably not gonna see dunks in the collection, man. But anyways, I'm out of here rambling too much. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to leave those comments down below. I think I already said that, but you already know my slogan. Good to go. I'm out of here. It's a wrap.